search engines. They're millennials' versions of libraries. Much like libraries, search engines don't always have the information you are looking for. Perhaps that's because some search engines can choose the information it gives you based on how popular a page is, rather than how factual the content is. Here are three facts about search engines. Number one, what are search engines? Sites like Google, Yahoo, and Bing are all search engines. They are programs that search for and identify items in a database that correspond to keywords, characters, phrases, questions, etc. that you put in the search bar. It is important to remember that when you search for something in a search engine, it's not examining the World Wide Web. Rather, it's examining the archives, records, or indexes that that particular search engine has. The results you get from a search engine largely depends on how closely the tags, captions, descriptions, and file names match what it is you're searching for. The results you get also depend upon how relevant and popular a page is. This factors in how many external links point to that page, say if it's tweeted frequently, or if a lot of people post it on other platforms like Facebook, Reddit, or on other websites. Number 2. How search engine results can be manipulated when looking up an image in a search engine, the results you get depend on factors like what the caption of the image is, meaning what written text is under the image you are looking for. For example, if I was looking up a photo of Hillary Clinton and the caption under the image I was presented said Hillary Clinton, there's a pretty good chance I'm looking at a picture of her. Search engines also look at file names that are uploaded. If the file name also said HillaryClinton.png or JPEG, you have a higher chance of getting that particular image to rank at the top of the search result because many factors are indicating that that is indeed a picture of Hillary Clinton. However, many search engines have been flooded with attack campaigns where individual users alter images and get enough people to share the content so they rank at the top of the search engine result page. For example, a few years back, Michelle Obama was the victim of search engine manipulation. A picture was distributed across the internet where her face was distorted to make her look like a monkey. The uploaders made sure to write Michelle Obama in the caption as well as in the file name, and well, it worked. There was a time when you searched Michelle Obama and the falsely edited photo of her portrayed as a monkey came up at the top of the search result page. In this case, Google found out that their search results had been manipulated and they supposedly wrote new codes so that their search results more accurately depicted the factual and relevant image of Michelle Obama. Meaning, not only can individual users alter search engine results, but also developers of search engines have the ability to create new code to betray you, companies, information, or anything they desire in the fashion of their choosing. Number 3. Search Engine Guidelines and Laws Most of the larger search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing have a set of guidelines they want their users to follow. If these guidelines are breached or legal action is taken against a web page, image, text, etc., search engines have the authority to remove that page from its archives and indexes, causing it to no longer be visible to the masses when searched. Hey everybody, thank you for watching this video. My name is Nathan Chambers. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see videos that are similar to this one, because I put them out on a regular basis.